Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm 32. I started a business in lockdown. I'm a mum of three and I have Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a connective tissue disorder that affects joints and skin elasticity. It's a collagen defect. Collagen is the glue that holds everything in your body together and mine is faulty and I can't make more. The biggest hurdle with my Ehlers-Danlos is the pain. Pain really wears you down over time and it's hard to stay focused and it's hard to stay positive. That's the biggest issue. Being your own advocate is the most important thing. Nobody knows your body and your condition like you do. No one knows what you're going through better than you do. And if you can't feel comfortable to tell a doctor or a nurse or a professional of any kind that you're not happy for them to do something, then you're gonna put yourself in a position you don't wanna be in and it's not necessary. If you can just stand up and say, someone more senior needs to do that. It's, it's the best thing for you. I had a car crash three years ago and the after effects of that and my injuries have all been exacerbated by Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. To be told that if I didn't have Ehlers-Danlos there would be a surgery I could have but because I do they're not going to do it. To be told that the only thing I can do is to change my life, move my cupboards around, have a chair in the kitchen, sit down when I cut vegetables up is not something you want to hear at 32 when those are the things that your 80 year old gran has to do around her house. And if it wasn't for Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, I would have healed by now long ago and my life would be back to normal. And my life will never be back to normal now because of EDS. If you have Ehlers-Danlos, you need to find someone that you can talk to openly. Let them know how you're feeling, that sometimes you don't even have to tell them how you're feeling, that you, they just know. That's what you need, you need to share your problems, you need to be open, you don't need to be ashamed, it's nothing to be ashamed of, you should feel comfortable talking about something that affects you in the same way that people would talk about their mental health, it's really important, it's no different at all. Uh, Erlis Danlos has a, a support group called Fragile Links, they've got loads of information, really lovely people, they have um, support groups in every area as well, so you can find your local support group and talk to people, you don't have to go in person, but you can talk to them online, you can find your local like local group. They also have incredible resources prepared. So if you've got a child at school who's got Ehlers Danlos, you can request a pamphlet about all the issues that can affect school aged children. If you're pregnant, they have pamphlets that can you can give to consultants and medical professionals that will tell them all of the possible outcomes with regards to having a child with when you've got Ehlers Danlos. And they are amazing. You can sign up and get their monthly monthly pamphlets or you can just request information as and when, but they're incredible. Little wins all add up and make massive wins for you in any period of your life. You have to look at it that way. You can't, can't say I've had a massive win and that's why my life is better. You have to take every day as it comes. And for me, a day when I've promised to do something and have achieved it is a win. And a day that I can have a shower, wash my hair, cook dinner, get my kids from school and still do a club after school is a win. You have to stay positive about the things that you have done and not feel bad about the things that you weren't able to. Thank you.